Hey! Welcome back to Mario RPG. So, uh, you wanna know Peach's associated act? Oh, I have to publish... I just finished putting all the metadata in today's Assassin's Creed episode and I never hit the publish Dog, button. Dog, one of Peach's associated acts is Iggy Pop. Really? Yeah. That's weird. So we're in Bowser's Keep. Uh, we're running through these okay, little... Okay, holy shit. Gauntlets. Instruments. You're gonna wanna stick with me on this list. Vocals. Synthesizer. Uh-huh. Drum machine. Okay. Guitar. Keytar. Laser harp. Can I, can I, can I point out real quick that synth- Are you gonna yell at me? I don't know why I would, you never learn. Uh, synthesizer and drum machine are basically the same thing. Theremin. Peaches plays the theremin? And the laser harp. What the fuck is a laser harp? I'm gonna look it up. I feel like it's gonna be some weird sex thing. It's not a sex thing, except when it is. What the fuck am I looking at? What is it? What the fuck? Future Kino, put this picture on screen. What is it? It's like a big giant laser harp. Electronic musical using your face, laser on the take several beams of laser beams. The Asian played them by blocking them to produce sound reminiscent of a heart. So when you put your hand through each laser, it mimics the sound that that string on a harp would make? I guess. That's interesting. I, I, I guess, in a way. What the fuck? I didn't... It did zero damage to Mario. It's a muckle. Man from muckle? Get it, because Man from Uncle is an old from TV Uncle. show. It's also a movie. Uh, the, TV, the movie was based on the TV show. I know. Did you just say from under? Yeah. Like from under cheese? You can look from under cheese from under my nuts. You can look from under cheese from under my nuts. Who else should I look up? I don't know. Who else should you look up? Let's see, what's a bad song I've heard recently? Hal Hal Halsey? Because we talked about New Americana last session. Yeah? Uh, who's bad? Michael Jackson bad. Do you want to talk about, um, Charlie Puth's hit song? Marvin Gaye and get it on. Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Yeah, I know. I know of that song. It's bad. Isn't it Charlie Puth? Puth. It's P U T H. Charlie Puth. 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 Is he Puth Daddy? Oh man. Cause wasn't that like him and uh, fucking bass Megan Trainer? Yeah. Megan Tranny? Yeah. Let's talk about Carly Rae Jepsen's hit single. Well, it wasn't a hit. It should have been. Run Away With Me. It was good. Carly Rae Jepsen's song Run Away With Me? That's yeah, good. I don't know if I ever heard it, and I like Carly Rae Jepsen. It's good. It's like an actual, like, song. It's not like Call Me Maybe and I Really, 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 Really Like You. Like, it's an actual song, like, with lyrics at a meaning. Hey, I really, 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 really like you was the greatest music video ever. Film Because right? it had Tim Hon It was Tim Honks. It was Milbury. No, it was Tim Honks. Mil Bur Milbury. No, it was Tim Honks, dude. It was? Yeah. How'd he get out of the wasteland? I don't know. He made his way to the NCR, recorded a music video. I think that video was set in New York. Shut up. And Charlie, Charlie How about Jeff that? Is Canadian. She is Canadian. And she's like... She's like... 28. Let's see how old Carly Rae Jepsen is. She's like 28. I'm not even joking. Because everybody thought when she came out with Call Me Maybe that she was like this young, like, teenage pop star up-and-coming person. It's like, no, she's like in her late 20s, dude. 
She's 30. She's 30? She's 30. When did Call Me Maybe come out? Uh, solid question. I think she was like 27 when Call Me Maybe came out. And I guess maybe I just thought it came out more recently than it did. Fuck it. I'm trying to find one. I'm trying to find a discography. It should be in our Wikipedia page. I'm on our Wikipedia page. Shut up, let me on. She was born in British Columbia. <laughs> Call me maybe. You know, the microphone cannot hear you. 2012 was Call Me Maybe. Okay, yeah, so she was like 26, 27 when that song came out. I guess I just thought Call Me Maybe was more recently than it really was. Uh, did it, uh. I really like you with 2015. Yes. Reached the Japanese top 10. Dude, so Carly Rae Jepsen's only like a year younger than me. Born 19, November 1st, 1985. She's a year and a half younger than me. Uh, discography. She was on Canadian Idol. Maybe I should go get me some Carly Rae Jepsen. She was on Canadian Idol. I didn't know there was. That's such probably a thing. how she became like got the single. That's probably how she got calling. Maybe I didn't even know Canadian Idol was a thing. What did she sing? Forever young. Uh, da 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 da. I tried by Macy Gray. She did. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Uh, breathe by Anna Nalik, she did. I try to walk away and I stumble. You like my Macy Gray impression? Killer Queen. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. She did Killer Queen. My world crumbles when you are not near. Christ, Killer Queen. That's a hard one to do. That is. Killer Queen is a pretty difficult, because it, it wobbles a lot. And she did White Flag by Dido. By Dado? Dido. Dado. Dido. Dido dado doodle 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 Disco graphy. Is that like when you do uh, charts at a disco? Jepson finished. Yay! Jepson finished third in the fifth season of the talent series Canadian Idol. See, if she were with me, I'd make sure she finished first. Ha ha! That was a sex joke. You get it? The second single, Run Away With Me, was released in July. I don't know if it charted. You don't know if it charted? Charted. Yep. Call Me Maybe was its fucking number one hit in the US. Will you, will you come sit with me like a normal person? No, cause I'm... The microphone can't hear you. It can hear me fucking fine! Not when you mumble talk. Run not away not when me. you not when you do your Ariana Grande impression and talk like you have a mouthful of marbles. Run away with me. Three, four, six. Did not chart in the U.S. Hey, fuckface. Three, four, six. Uh, seven. I'm going in four. That's like half a seven. Oh God, it's another battle one. He should have gone in seven. There's no seven. -er. Wow, so I got both obstacle courses and both battle ones. I didn't get either of the puzzle ones. Oh, uh, you got Gino's fucking terrible weapon that killed everything? Yes. And apparently the bloodlust is real, man. He just wants to keep using it. Now you just need Bowser's, right? Uh, yeah. Bowser's is the only uh, ultimate weapon I don't have yet. Oh, it's a spinny. Yep, it is. It's a, oh, it's a crab! It's an Okerlin. Is it like Mean Gene Okerlin? Orlin. Orlikin. Harlequin. Orlikin. Harlequin. Harley Quinn, now, Harleen, you, Harleen Quinzel. Are you mad about Harley Quinn? What, you mean being played by not Anne Hathaway? Aren't you just mad that, like, she exists? No. You were bitching about it earlier, a couple days ago. No, I'm not mad that she exists. I just... 
the obsession. Like what obsession? Everybody's obsession. Like, define obsession. Like, let's say you go to Comic-Con or you go to AX or something like that. Like, 50% of the females there are going to be dressed as fucking Harley Quinn. Is that a problem? Like, almost every girl now, I know on Facebook who on. is into anything... Tumblr. calm down. I'm about to objectify women. Trigger warning. I'm about to empower the female sexual force. Is that really a bad thing, especially if they dress as the Batman animated Harley Quinn in the, like, the skin-type bodysuit? But there are dozens of other fictional characters that would pull off the same effect. Then would you, then you would complain just as much. No, not if there was some variety. It's just like, for some reason, everybody is so into Harley Quinn. It's like, okay, she's cool, but Jesus Christ. And you would complain just as much. It's like... I don't know. And like every 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 girl I know on my Facebook who is remotely into anything, you know, nerdy or comic related or anything like that, is just always constantly posting uh, like picture memes about Harley Quinn and for any reason, either to say that she's a badass or she's a boss bitch or she's a sexy woman. Like no matter what context you want to use, these chicks will find some way to equate it to Harley Quinn. It's like, can we stop being obsessed with this game? Uh, with this person? I was thinking game because I was equating it to your whole thing with Undertale. Don't talk about that. Yeah, see? Don't fucking talk about it. You I'm, hate you hate Undertale because of the fan base. I hate Harley I hate Quinn care, because of the I fan have to base. Deal with it for my fucking job. On the TCF? Yes. Why does Undertale have anything to do with the Terraria forums? Because the fan base is cancer. And if you t trigger if trigger you trigger warning, we're we're talking about uh, Undertale and we're using the word cancer. And if people don't like Undertale, and make that well-known, fans of Undertale tend to get really, really stupid and angry. Yeah, like, irrationally. I got a lot of backlash uh, on Facebook for that, because I criticized it, because I found... I, I couldn't I couldn't keep up... Like, I tried to watch... I tried to watch Silvermord play it. And... I couldn't. Like, I got bored with... Watching it, like like watching Silvermore's gameplay of it, like the game bored me. I was like, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not into this. I'm not enthralled by the story or anything. I stopped watching. I was like, you don't get it. I was like, this doesn't interest. I was like, I'm not interested by this. It's 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 kind of convoluted. It's it's somehow convoluted and generic at the same time, and I don't understand how that's possible. You're just stupid. You don't get it. And that's, that's the thing, like, it was being, like, Gamnesia posted this thing on Facebook about how somebody, somebody did a huge, like, you know, they caused a big controversy, controversy, I use that term loosely, caused a big controversy, uh, or, like, polarized, uh, the community because they have a new world record speedrun of Undertale, but it's a genocide speedrun. So it's 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 a new world record speed run of Undertale, but he killed everything. So the fan base is like polarized by you know because that's they say that's not the right way to. And I was just like commented and I was like, can we please get over this fucking game already? I was like, can we please just move on to a different game to be obsessed with now? No. And I got I got a few people agreed with me outright. A few people replied and were like, yes, please, can we do this? And then as soon as the rabid cancer fan base that is the Undertale fandom... I'm sorry if you're a fan of Undertale. I'm not. And if you're listening and you're a fan of Undertale and you watch our show... Don't watch our show. Odds are... No, odds are if they're the kind of person that watches our show, they're not the Undertale fan that we're complaining about. Because if they were, 
most of the opinions we express on this show would have turned them away a long time ago. That said, the majority of the Undertale fandom is cancer. And I got crucified. Crucified. And someone had the stupidest argument to try to mock me with, like, Oh, well, let's just bash on this thing that I don't like just because other people like it. And I was like, Ooh, let's jump in and defend this thing I like because somebody happens to not like it. Do you see how stupid your argument is? It's like, oh, opinions. People have them. What else don't I like? You don't like a lot of things. You're a hateful motherfucker. But that's okay because so am I. We're actually very hateful people. And the, 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 the PC problems that we were having during the last episode kind of put us in a sour mood. So we're kind of just talking about shit we hate right now. Don't I like? Like, seriously, that's where I'm at. Like, I'm, I'm just in a sour mood because the PC pissed me off. What don't I like? Our recording equipment's been fucking up lately, and it's really chapping my ass. I don't like Attack on Titan. But that's well known. That's an unpopular opinion, too. That is the if most If you're an anime opinion. fan, you're supposed to like Attack on Titan. That's the most unpopular opinion. That is the most unpopular opinion. You wanna know another one? You wanna know another unpopular opinion? Like, that's opinion? like the rule. Like, if you're, if you're an otaku, you are supposed to like uh, Attack on Titan. You wanna know another unpopular opinion? What? I wasn't that big a fan of Fully Cooly. I never watched Fully Cooly. Oh, I know people who will crucify me for that statement. I mean, I get why people like it. I just didn't like it that much. You know which opinion? You know which 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 one of mine I get a lot of shit for? Except for maybe one or two. Maybe only one. I don't think Will Ferrell's funny. There are maybe one or two movies where I actually... Uh, Ricky, Bobby. Ricky Bobby is one of them, and, um... Step Brothers. No, not Step Brothers. Uh, the one where he's with John Heater, where they're, uh, ice, uh, figure skating. Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory. Ricky Bobby and Blades of Glory are the only two Will Ferrell movies that I actually somewhat enjoy... In general, I don't find Will Ferrell what, to be what are your, funny. What are your thoughts on Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller's another one of those very rare... But um, I like the Night at the Museum movies. I do like those. The Night at the Museum movies are really good. I like what when... See? see... I like Ben Stiller when he's actually just playing a normal guy. When he's just playing a normal character. What else was he in? Um, another movie I actually liked him in, uh, was, um, uh, Neighborhood Watch. That's with him and Vince Vaughn and Jonah Hill. That movie's actually really funny. Um, he's like a Walmart employee, or Costco employee. He's a Costco employee and he starts a Neighborhood Watch with Vince Vaughn. I thought you were talking about the, um, the Dane Cook movie, Employee of the Year for that. Employee of the Month. Oh, Employee of the Month? You know what? I actually like that movie. As you should. That movie is one of my guilty pleasures. Uh, Employee of the Month with with Dane Cook and Jessica Simpson is one of my guilty pleasure movies. Especially because Dax Shepard is just such a douchebag in that movie. It's fucking hilarious. I actually kind of like Dax Shepard. Because Dax Shepard is really good at just playing douchebag piece of shit characters. And he somehow makes them almost likable. Excuse me. Was Paul right? Here's another thing um, to end the episode on that, that I get a little bit of shit on. Um, so if I'm sitting during the day and watching TBS, because sometimes TBS during the day, they'll show like American Dad, Family Guy, Cleveland Show, um, shit like that. And after that's all done, New Girl comes on. And I watch New Girl just long enough to hear the catchy little theme song, and then I change the channel. Like, the only part of New Girl I watch is the theme song. That is it. 
Other than that, I don't find New Girl that funny. I just like the theme song. <laughs> you know what's a good Paul Rudd movie I'm to end the episode scum. on? What? Role Models. <laughs> Role Models was actually a pretty good movie. That's I liked fine. that. That was about LARPing. I know, that's why I liked it. Uh, yeah, next time uh, we're gonna get through some more of Bowser's Castle, we might actually finish it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy.